Blood Curse, Season 1, Episode 5, Thoughts. This episode is called The Uninvited Guests. And, uh, yeah, another episode I love. Spoilers for these first five episodes. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the Sack After Strikers. And then there are some links to the videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So let's dive right in. So, yeah, this episode was exactly the kind of thing that I had been hoping for. You know, this is... This is probably my favorite episode so far, you know, the, the first episode of the season is a close second, but yeah, this is the kind of, you know, we're getting, we're, we're learning more about what's going on. We are, you know, getting some, some very clear answers to, to some of the mysteries, you know, they're, they're not merely doing, you know, the thing again of either Mr. Bonden or one of Wulan's parents, you know, being hit very hard by the curse and not really a lot else happening. I also really appreciate that this episode, like, they, just, you know, they did a very nice misdirect earlier. I really did think that Reno and Mr. Harna were the ones who were, um, yeah, the, the ones behind it. But even if you didn't believe them when they, you know, approached Wulan and Essa, certainly the, the, last ep the last scene of the episode is them seemingly dying at the hands of the real culprit. So, yeah, um, which is... So, so basically what it is is that Reno really mishandled the, the, when he was, let's see, yeah, he, he, you know, when he scared Wulan, he came and, and like, ba basically attacked the, her, her car as she was in it, that was, you know, basically him overreacting to, to, you know, he thought that, yeah, he thought it was her fault that the um, that bad stuff was happening to because his father went to the hospital. Yeah, you know, it's, it's obviously it's still wrong that he did that, but the the um, it doesn't mean that he was behind what was happening. And the various times that he called her, he was trying to build up the nerve to tell her, "I'm afraid that there's something, you know, there's a curse against you," which you know, she's very, very skeptical, so she, he was maybe worried that if he did try to do that, she would think that he was threatening her or something, you know, because, yeah, what is he going to say? Something bad is going to happen to you and your family that sounds like a threat, you know, so, yeah, I, I quite appreciate that, and, and, yeah, like, Rima didn't seem like she was behind it, so, yeah, I have no idea who is behind it, I guess... Let's see. Because what was the thing that Rima said to her shaman? Maybe that one wasn't as incriminating either. Yeah, but but you know, the thing that we saw Mr. Harna and Reno say to each other in an earlier episode which, you know, led us to believe that they were the ones behind this was now the, let's see, I think it was, the, yeah, it was when Wulan's father died, and yeah, Mr. Harna said, her father has died, and Reno said, how do we proceed? Which, yeah, considering that up to this point, we'd seen him, he, he was seemingly evil, you know, yeah, that makes it sound like that was what they were planning to do that was what they were hoping would happen but no he was mr harna was giving us you know a status update okay so we've been tracking the the blood curse against Wulan and her family now her father has died and reno's like okay that was not supposed to happen what what do we do how do we stop this so yeah very very nicely done um love when a mystery is able to do a misdirect like that just yeah and yeah so 
to get into the, the so starting with the yeah the, the first scene we're in 1998 and yeah uh Bulan's mother is worried that they're going to get caught and they you know he promises he'll divorce Rima as soon as the 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 um investment has been made and let's see and this is sadly you know that is the kind of thing that sometimes happens with like affairs the the you know sometimes affairs do lead to the the person marrying the or or you know having a committed relationship with the person that they were cheating on someone else with you know and yeah a lot of the time it it does require this kind of you know there are some there are some practical concerns and yeah so Ulan's you know back in the present Ulan's mother you know scratching her head and there's holy crap very very nicely done if I had to guess I would say it's like latex and bladders but I'm it it, it looks incredibly convincing I guess it could be CG um, the only bit of dodgy CG that I really felt was in this episode was the the head, which is you know it was still very effective, but it was it was slightly fake looking when the you know it it seemed like the the other body stuff that was happening to Reno was done with practical effects, but the head was you know turning 180 degrees, which is very useful. He can see where he's been now. You know, that seemed to be CG, so very much, uh, yeah. Uh, but other than that, yeah. So back to the, the head, you know, we see, like, pulsing and throbbing, just, you know, and and some bugs come out, just, yeah, very nicely done. And then she starts pouring, so I'm going to see if I can pronounce this right. I've barely heard this said in English. I, You know, I'm Danish. We say acetone. I think it's called acetone in, in English pours that right on her head and it's like, oh, please stop. No, that's not a good idea. I get the bugs. I don't like the bugs either. Please do not pour acetone on your skin. That's not, oh my god. And, you know, the, the brother explains, you know, he, he gave her, um, what's it called? The, the, um, ah, what's it called? Uh, foot four of the pills to to get her to sleep and let's see um yeah um they talk about you know believing might be part of the solution and yeah they they realize about the affair and they they don't they haven't quite realized about because I still feel fairly confident in saying, you know, the the yeah, because we saw them meet each other for the first time in 1998. So yeah, um, Wulan and her brother must be Rima's children in in reality. So she really she lost everything in the divorce. So. You know, you could understand if it was. It again, it's obviously wrong to to do, but she has a motive, which you know, always more compelling when it's that kind of thing. And yeah, I I gotta say, when when Reno and Mr. Harna came in and they were like, "We're not here to hurt you. We are protecting you." You know, I I really didn't see that coming, but yeah. You know, the thing, you know, what was the thing they buried the other day that was an amulet to try to protect them, you know, and yeah, the, Mr. Harna finds the, the, the knot and explains that the, the thud they, they heard on the roof, which woke several of them up, that was the knot being dropped by the djinn. 
and I will say Jin is like one of the only things I know about like when it comes to how Islam you know I know other things about Islam but that's one of the only things where I know oh okay that's like if there's an evil force it might be a Jin you know, I know substantially more about Christian you know mythology when it comes to that and I will say the thing with the bowl was very, very creepy and effective. I, I appreciate, you know, up to this point, it has been fairly, like, they're doing the same thing a lot. You know, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of cockroaches, wasps, centipedes or millipedes, uh, you know, coughing blood, coughing up nails, that sort of thing. That's happened a lot so far, and and the you know something is moving under the skin, and causing a lot of intense pain. You know, I love it, but I really do appreciate having a little bit more variety, and maybe this is a turning point for that because the attack on uh, Reno was also you know the attack on Harna was about what we expect. You know, he's coughing up blood, but the attack on Reno making all of these all of his limbs bend the wrong way. That was very, very cool. But, but yeah, the ball, you know, he drops it, and it rolls on its own up the wall, indicating the, the family picture. And they, they remove the knot, and, you know, a bunch of bugs come out, and they're, they're trying to stomp them, or succeeding. And Ulan's mother seems to be better. So... You know, this this is one of those things, is it just the eye of the storm? You know, is it all the way better, or is it just, so, yeah, really, because certainly she was very hungry after the, you know, yeah, it's it's very suspicious that she is so, seemingly so much better with within so little time of them destroying the knot. And uh, Willan's brother is still suspecting the servants and still treating them badly. Like, he could at least apologize after he ruins the flowers that this guy made. Because he didn't find anything. It would be one thing if he found something there. But no, there was nothing out of, you know, the, there wasn't anything wrong in the flower pot. I, I really hope that this is leading not to him being proven right, that he shouldn't trust their slaves, but him realizing he was wrong and maybe even apologizing to... The, yeah, we'll, we'll see. And... Yeah, uh, the uh, Mr. Harna and Reno, you know, traveling via the, the djinn to the, the other shaman it was very, very creepy also. Very nicely done. And I appreciate, like, a lot of it is just, like, camera moves and sounds. There's not an awful lot of, of CG. And they do the thing with it. It's so... If you know, like, film... You know, filmmaking tricks, it's super easy. But it's very effective for this kind of supernatural thing. They make the, the lamp in the background, like, you know, blink, flash, kind of thing. Okay, it's not the very easiest thing to do, but if you have someone who knows what they're doing, that sort of thing, it's not super difficult to rig up. You know, it's not something that requires an extensive amount of, of time and resources, that kind of thing. But it just works, because we see that and we're like, oh, that's bad, That's there's a, there's a spirit, there's some, you know... And, uh, yeah, so the the... We have another flashback to 1998, and they talk about Rima's chemo, and yeah, um, that really does put into perspective, uh, you know, the, yeah, um, that is really, really, the fact that he left her when she you know, she, Rima later tells them, you know, it was, the, the relationship started to, you know, started to struggle when she developed cancer. And that is sadly also, there are a lot of, of people where that is the kind of thing that, just, yeah, 
and you know it it shouldn't be but it is sadly true really respect the show for for bringing up it's very taboo obviously you know there, there's this uh, you know ideally you stand by your partner in a situation like that but sadly a, a number of people don't including people who are otherwise good and yeah the the dog attacks and the 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 dog is apparently no, named Darko maybe that is Rima a Donnie Darko fan because I, I can respect that I you know not my favorite movie but there's you know you can have a it's 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 one of those movies that are very fun to, to like pick apart and it does have something to say it's got great acting great cinematography and editing you know the the concept is is you know really interesting anyway and the when the the is he a shaman i guess i'll just be ah uh, we i think they said his name but i didn't write it down uh Am ahmad maybe you know what i just in case i'm going to but the the you know he was giving her some some treatments for the for the cancer which is also you know yeah when we think that she's up to no good in starting some trouble in the neighborhood and the the you know we see this guy that we don't know approach the house and go in and then we see like her exposed back and she's like moving weird you know we think oh there's something wrong but no i mean some some treatments do look violent you know, mommy and daddy aren't hurting each other. Uh, so, so yeah, very, very, again, a great misdirect there. And as he's leaving, he says, Salam Alaikum, and they respond, Alaikum Salam. I think that might be the first explicitly Muslim thing on the show that couldn't be mistaken for just a Christian thing, you know. So, yeah, that's very, very cool the the let's see or maybe it's just the one the first one that I picked up it's possible that there have been others but the um, you know I've, I've in previous videos on the show I've talked about you know they they might be like changing some things to, I, I don't know very much about Indonesia but I do know that it is majority Muslim so the the fact that this you know they might they might have made some decisions to you know the the muslims that the muslim immigrants to denmark i know wear their faith on their sleeve so what i've seen on this show so far has not you know that yeah and and i realize you know it i i don't know i don't think any of them came from indonesia i realize different countries practice islam differently but but yeah, I, I can't help but wonder if they changed some things to tone down the the Muslim thing because they were hoping to sell it to Christian majority countries. Anyway, the yeah, we're we're told you know the cancer is back. That's why she was asking for more money, and yeah, that that's one hundred percent understandable, you know. And yeah, they talk some about the relationship, you know, back in, in 1998. And yeah, Essa and Ulan agree that really sounded like it was the truth and kind of back to square one. Who, you know, who could be behind this if it's not? So, so yeah. And. Then we hear a thud on the roof of Mr. Harnas, and holy crap, what an ending. Really low, just, yeah, the, the, and, you know, I appreciate, you know, Harna is like, don't be afraid, that gives it more power. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Um, his hand just bent the wrong way, you know, and then the other one, bends the, the wrong way, his foot starts turning, and just, holy crap, just, yeah, and, and, great, great acting by, by both of them, and, yeah, um, really, I, I have no idea 
what you know who who's really behind this and how on earth they're going to stop you know this is this is the halfway point there are another five episodes you know of of this season this is a really good time to be telling the audience okay we're not messing around whoever's behind this is extremely powerful you know a bit more powerful than the the other shaman and the the and and the thing of you know the shaman was able to track you know trace his back because the the uh, flower petals i think it was you know yeah dropped off at the 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 other shaman and the shaman was able to trace it and i guess an argument could be made like why was it so much faster this time i think the shaman wants Wulan and her family to suffer, and and uh, Mr. Bondon as well. Whereas this was more of a you know fighting Harna was you know, self defense. Like you gotta you gotta take them down fast if you're you know in in order to to prevent them from from taking you down. And then you have you know and and yeah Reno. I think that was to make a statement, you know, because at some point Wulan's gonna gonna find out about this and she's gonna be horrified and the shaman is hoping this will scare her so much that she's not going to be she's she's going to stop investigating and stop fighting. But yeah, um really cool to see some some shaman on shaman action. You know, when we're dealing with black magic, a number of these stories will only have one, you know, practitioner of the dark arts. And that can also be really, really cool. It doesn't have to be, you know, but the fact that it's, that there's two and they're they're fighting each other is, is very, very cool. You know, if you have enough screen time and you have a big enough budget... You know, it can it can be really really cool, and and you know, as I've just gone into, it really shows. You know, it's this is an extremely powerful shaman that they are able to take out this other shaman just like that. Just you know, so yeah, right. I appreciate uh, the the fact that we still haven't seen a gym. Now it has been confirmed that there are you know. Part of this is Jin, but we didn't see the Jin. We we got like a POV shot essentially. Also, love the the drone shot or at, at you know one point in the episode. Anyway, the, you know up above the the houses, just you know moving moving downwards. Anyway, um, yeah, we got a POV shot representing the the Jin, and we hear the the thud, and we now. Are, are told that the thud we heard in episode one was also caused by a djinn. Still haven't seen one. I'm of two minds of whether or not I hope we'll see at least one djinn before the end of this season. If they, if that is, you know, I the show's already all aired. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, there's any chance of of changing. I'm, I'm guessing at what is what has already been done that I haven't watched yet. If they have great CGI for it, or maybe practically, then it, it would be great. I don't think we necessarily need to see one, but I really appreciate that, you know, it is just thud, because that is the kind of thing, and I can imagine that is something that is part of the, the faith surrounding Jin. But that is just creepy, you know. You you're in you're in your house and you suddenly hear a thud, and you don't know what caused it. That's yeah. I I certainly wouldn't wouldn't blame anyone for for you know guessing that that would you know that there's some kind of supernatural explanation for that kind of thing. You know, it's just it's very very off putting and and just creepy and yeah, um yeah. Really, really loved this episode. I am very excited to see what happens next. Uh, 
right now it's looking like next episode will be I, I will do my video on next episode eight days from now so yeah until then yeah really excited to see what happens next